What's happening, HC Nation? Hey, Zach Edwards here for another Tutorial Tuesday. I don't know if you saw it last night. I was really tired, and I just wanted to talk about uh, how hard it is to be a business owner. So if you're interested, go check that out. Otherwise, tomorrow, we're going to have a what, uh, whatever Wednesday. I'm going to walk you through some of the things on Hunt the Past. Now, I know it's been uh, going on for a while. We actually have um, some new updates when it comes to Historical Conquest, the digital game. It's almost there. I wish I, it was here earlier, but it's coming. I promise you it's coming, and I'm waiting for it to come. I have no control over it. I wish I did, but it's our programmer. He has full control over it, and he's trying to get through all the different bugs that's in it before he uploads it. So please stay, stay tuned, and we will talk, uh, have that for you tomorrow. Now, today, Tutorial Tuesday, we have a question that came in via email. This one is discards and increase. My family is enjoying the game, but... We had a couple of real questions, rule questions, sorry. Argentina says, if we discard a card, we increase strength and morale. Do we discard from our hand or our civilization? Good question. Okay, so, so right here it says, increase both your morale and your strength by 300 points if you discard a character. Okay, for one thing is, so it's not just a card, it's a character. Um, characters, it doesn't say if it has to be from your hand or from your civilization. So I'm going to leave that up to you. It did not specify. That's my mistake. I should have had it there, but it doesn't. So now it's up to you. You get to choose if it's in my, from, from my hand or from my card. A lot of times, if it doesn't say, I leave it up to the players to decide. This is the players in the house playing it. So go ahead and make the decision while you're playing it. You can choose from either one. Just somebody needs to go to the discard intentionally with this card. So it cannot be before Argentina was placed. It has to be when it was placed, and then it's like, okay, which one do I want to discard to get that 300 points? That one's going to the discard. Boom, done. You get the points. Okay, now on to the next one. Peter Salem says, an opponent must discard a character when attacking a land Salem is defending. I have the same question. Is it discarded from your opponent's hand or civilization? Open this up. It says your opponent must discard one character when he attacks a land Salem is defending. Your opponent must discard one character. He attacks a land he is defending. So let's let's read this through. Your opponent, so um, player A, player B. My opponent, player B, must discard one character when he attacks a land Salem is defending. So it will actually be coming from that land that is attacking him when he attacks the land Salem is defending. So, yes, it could be a little bit clearer, but that is, the intention is that it would be the land that's attacking you. They would have to say, oh, wait a second, I didn't know that was one of the rules, but now I've got to discard somebody from the land that's attacking, so I get less points. So I hope that makes sense. So this is a really powerful card. This is in all the Peter Salem decks. People really like the Peter Salem decks. This is one of the cards. Why? Because it gives that little extra added bonus that you don't usually see. And some of these cards. So, again, that is the official ruling for it. So, stay tuned for number three. Question number three. Finally, when a technology, knowledge, etc. card increases a civilization's strength and her defense, does that increase for all the lands in the civilization or just one? If the card does not say once, does this card remain in play? throughout the game? Good question. Okay, so I should have picked up a, a card that does this, but a no technology, knowledge, and it's uh, etc., documents, so forth, they all go in the active area. Your active area is basically cards that affect your whole civilization. So uh, active area, it plays for your civilization. So everyone knows what's in the, the active area. So for this one, um, does that increase for all the lands in your civilization or just one? It goes for all the lands. Unless it specifies one land, it goes for all the lands. That's what the, the, the active area is all about. So to remind you that you have these cards affecting your whole civilization. Now it also says, the, the question also says, if the card does not say once, does this card remain in play throughout the game? Now, in HD 2.0, well, I guess I gotta move myself. Whoop, there we go. There are three symbols down here. There's a C, an H, and an I. 
C is for constant, means you can play it constantly for basically the rest of the game. H means you can hold on to that ability and then play it once, twice, or an infinite amount of times. Now, if it was a H, it'd only be once or twice. Because infinite basically means you could just put a C there and an infinite sign right here. So uh, that's that way. Now, if it has an I, it means instant. As soon as you play the card, you have to use the ability. No if, ands, or buts. You use the ability right away. That's how you know that it's only a one-time playing card. So sometimes they'll say once up here, but truthfully, it doesn't really need to because of these symbols. If it's a C, it means it plays for the whole game. If it's a card, and I think it was documents, knowledge, and technology cards, if it's an I in instant, it's just a one-time or maybe a two-time thing. And then it's basically gone. The abilities are gone. If it's a C, which most of the technologies are Cs, it means they play forever. And if they're H, it means you hold on to that ability and you play it once when you want or twice. And then you get to discard the card. Now, a character is different. So if you get a, a card out here that says instant and like a one-time card, you play the ability, what do you do with the card? Well, you keep it in one of your lands because there's still humans. There's still people to defend that land from your opponent. And they still have attack and defense points. So even though they used up their ability, they can still attack and defend that land. So hope that helps you with your questions. I don't know who this is because Bethany put this in. She's my executive secretary. Um, but I hope you were able to see this. And I hope you have something for me. Thank you so much. We'll talk to you soon. Take care. Bye. I'm going to move myself over. Check out our other, um, subscribe to our channel and also check out our other videos. Love to see more, uh, see more of these. If you have any comments or questions, add them to the comments below. Otherwise, we'll see you next, uh, we'll see you tomorrow actually. Take care, bye.